so uh to make things simple for you um uh, forget about like uh calculating things and all of that stuff you can just go to your um chrome browser or any browser that you're using and then just type in my fx book position size calculator and then after that you click on that position size calculator and then it will take you to this area here so let me just continue here and then just show you so here this is where you use like this is where you look for your pair the pair that you're trading let's say on this one we are going to use like euro chf and then Using zero euro CHF, we have like this uh, position size calculator also on trading view of which this one shows you like your stop loss, how many pips are there. And then on this one, we can just use 31 pips. And then the reason why we're using 31 pips, you can see that we have 0 0.00312. So the last uh, digit, we don't count it. We have like 31 pips. So it's euro CHF with 31 pips. And then what you do is that you go back to my position size calculator. And then you look for Euro CHF. Euro CHF later. Let me just check. And then when you find Euro CHF, what you do is that you look for your currency base. You're trading with a GBP account or a USD account, and then I prefer USD. And then the account size, let's say you're using like a 5,000 account USD, and then your risk to reward ratio, that is where you put like your 1%. Are you risking 1% per trade or are you risking 0.5% of which is a half a percent? And then you click, maybe if you're using 1%, you just click 1%, and then the stop loss in pips is 31 pips. And then you click calculate, then this is your uh, lot size on the trade 0 0.15 and then you the stop loss that you're using is this one here at the top and then if you want to look for the value you just uh, double click on your instrument here and then you look for the inputs and then this is your stop loss price stop loss level not in ticks but in price it's around this area here of which in pips is 31 eh? then you're done you place your entry when you reach when the market reaches like this area here in form of a third touch, then you place a stop loss, the overall target, that's 20% from this top to the lows around there.